It is my esteemed pleasure to invite Dr. Adams, our very own director and chairman, Professor Dr. Thomas K. George, for the welcome address. Thank you, sir. Now, I invite Dr. 
Dr. K. D. Uminarayan for ordering Prof. Dr. Ashok Yagraj. Thank you. Now, for honoring Satya K, I invite our Assistant Professor Yasmin Sambar. Um, 
I'm really excited to be in this campus because it's something like, you know, it, I felt very home based yesterday when I came down here. And uh, thank you management for, uh, you know, organizing one such conference. And today's expectation on, uh, you know, your presentation is that I think, you know, the college has chosen a very right word called as the digital era, which without digital transformation, none of us can actually survive here out there in this globe. And you see that, you know, small startups are coming up, they are all growing global. And no more, you know, we can say that, you know, we can live in a non-digitalized era. So I request that and I am expecting that all your papers would be focused somewhere touching upon the digital era or digitalization or somewhere around digital. And I'm looking forward that, you know, some of your ideas should be new and creative, something which is of the current trends and the challenges that's happening. And you must be able to express to us with whatever, you know, most of your LMA students over here. And we look forward that, you know, you, you really, uh, you know, uh, make yourself exposed to this, uh, you know, in front of this August, uh, you know, crowd where you can actually uh, look forward that you can actually change yourself as even, you know, one time you get on to the dice to present your paper. And we also look forward that the paper should not be without a matter. The paper should have proper sequencing of your, you know, not only your presentations, even if you had submitted a hard copy, look forward that you know you change your sequencing as you present over here. I'm sure the other two panelists are also, you know, great enough to give you a lot of comments here with me. And we expect an outcome which always you will cherish that yes, you have brought them through a paper you presented in this international conference. All the best to the Lee College of Management and all the presenters today. Your presentation should be real, original, down to your state of art, related to digital. Over. Thank you very much. Give a big hand to them. <laughs> Sir, please come to the place. And share your views in two minutes. What do you expect from the student? Only two minutes. Hi. Good morning to all. Good morning. And I would like to hear a lot of good morning to all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's fine. I congratulate Dr. Chandrasekhar and team for giving me this opportunity. And I'm really happy that I am here. Uh, friends, I am a teacher. And students are my inspiration. Well, friends, nothing much to say about me. I told you I am a teacher. And I am inspired by many students, 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 everywhere. Friends, what you have to do is just speak out your mind. When getting out of the stage, kindly do not get nervous. Just think that all of us are saying the same word and try to drive at least a few points very precisely instead of reading out a whole text. So frame your presentation in such a way that you have an objective, then you have the subject matter what you are trying to say and certain analytical data which are real and then always end up with a conclusion which drives a point to the investor's mind. Wish you all the best, not this thank you. Thank you. The National Post of Health Plenty and Carbon Emissions were injured at a time. So, at the time, people or corporates or industry specialists, they were no concerned about the environment. They were only concerned. They were only concerned about the land, labor, capital. They are the factors of production. At the time, they were not concerned about the environment. So, again, the financial theory also does not take on value to the national resources. But... Robert Citizen. No, she thinks that uh, there is no difference between you and me. Yes. And there is no difference between human beings and me. Maybe you know, sometimes you know, she feels that, Sophia feels, she is better than I mean, all of us. You understand that? So today, you know, we are becoming inferior in front of what you call robots, artificial, <coughs> artificial intelligence, in terms of emotions, cognitive skills, and other, you know, 
everywhere you know, in mass, right? So these things are happening because of you know, the advanced you know, digital you know, technologies. So we cannot escape from that. Stephen Hawking, the famous you know, scientist, is no more. He says that you know, artificial intelligence is you know, almost going to replace human efforts. Almost going to replace human efforts. But he is giving a happy news that they can replace our efforts, but they cannot replace our world. You understand that? Right? Meaning, human beings, we have to continuously innovate new and new role for ourselves. In other words, what will happen is this artificial intelligence and the robots will you know, take over I mean, us. So we have to think innovatively and creatively how we can be known different. See, for example, one area where we can be totally different is that the ethical aspect. For example, artificial intelligence and other digital technologies are working as well as the algorithm. So you program, so they work according to the new program, but they don't have discretionary, you know, what they call, you know, you know thinking or you know, actions or you know, something like that. Given the deep planning, so whatever they sense, you know, within that, you know, they react, but they cannot have extra thinking. But we have that, you know, extra thinking. So we have to find new skills and you know, new attitude and new feelings and you know, I mean things like that. Bye. 
Thanks to our director, 